Ever since I was a little kid, I'd always wanted to be a sniper. To me, being a sniper was better than being the President of the United States. Now, being a sniper, it's a very precise line of work, and I feel like that precision carries over into my personal life. I'm very precise about a lot of things that I do, just as I'm very precise about where I place a round into one of my targets. You're probably wondering how I got started as a sniper, and like most snipers, I started in the military, specifically in the Marines. I learned from the Marines a habit of physical fitness, and I maintain my physical fitness to this day because you never know when you're going to need to call on your physical strength to get you out of a jam. After enlisting in the Marines, I worked hard to qualify for the Marine Scout Sniper School. There's a long waiting list to get into that school, but I eventually made it. After a lot of arduous training, I became a hunter of gunmen, a hog for short. I was finally a Marine Scout Sniper. The way that the Marines and really all branches of the military view snipers is as what's called a force multiplier. So a force multiplier is basically an individual or a small team that uses special tactics to do the damage of a much larger force. This means that snipers can be used in a lot of different ways. They're very versatile. For instance, when a sniper is in an overwatch type position, we set ourselves up in a concealed place that gives us a clear view of the battlefield. And then we can support our platoon by taking out any enemy forces that are endangering them. A sniper can be anywhere, from the rooftop to a marsh on the wooded hillside. That's the beauty of being a sniper, is you never know where we're going to pop up. A lot of people have assumptions about snipers. They think that the only thing that we do is shoot enemy combatants. And while we do shoot enemy combatants as part of our duties, a lot of what we do includes reconnaissance and overwatch and support for the troops on the ground. Being able to put a 50 caliber round into the engine block of a helicopter or a transport truck is just as effective as putting a round into the pilot of the helicopter or the driver of the truck. And that's all well and good when you're a military sniper, as I was in the Marines. But after a while, providing overwatch and support for ground troops, it got tiring and I wanted to do something else. I served out my six-year tour of duty as a sniper in the Marine Corps, and then I left the Marines. I decided I wanted to go into business for myself. I wanted to be a freelance sniper, if you will. Some people would say I became a hitman, but I prefer to think of it as merely capitalizing on the skills that I have. Some people might say that I have OCD because of my obsession with precision. But I really think that the precision that I strive to have in every aspect of my life is really just an extension of my work. Surprisingly, I found some of my best clients where you would least expect them. Since I left the Marine Corps, I found myself in the world of corporate assassination. I got myself a 9 to 5 job as a disguise to wear. And of course, the job that I'm doing changes frequently because it's just a cover for the true nature of my work. Because of the inherently temporary nature of my employment, I have to move frequently. I never stay in one place more than a couple of weeks, at the very most one month. And this means that my house is basically always empty or in a process of being moved into. So I eventually just stopped bringing things with me and only live with the bare essentials. This Spartan lifestyle has definitely played into my love of precision and cleanliness. I like to keep my house and myself clean, just like every kill that I make. 
In the end, I basically traded in my ghillie suit for a business suit. I'll admit, it's not the most glamorous position to have, and I look like the average Joe. But the reason that I put on the face of the everyman every morning and go to my job is to do my job. My appearance is just another type of camouflage. Instead of desert camo, it's corporate camouflage. In addition to my business attire camouflage, I drive a regular car. No one would expect a corporate assassin to drive a nondescript sedan. That's why I do. As I drive into work every morning, driving the same route as thousands of other commuters, I think about what I have to accomplish that day to get closer to being able to take out my target. I think about all the possible situations and locations where I can find my target unaware and catch them with their guard lowered. I've always had a preference for the body shot, and I know everyone thinks that snipers just take headshots all the time, but in reality, the headshot is an easy one to miss, even if you have the most accurate aim and your rifle is set up perfectly and the wind cooperates, sometimes the target will move and you'll just miss that headshot. And that's why I've developed a preference over time for the body shot. Because the human torso offers a slightly larger target and the body shot will help avoid the problems associated with a near miss and having to fire upon a target multiple times. Once I get to work, I smile into the face of my victims, of my co-workers, without them ever knowing what my real reason is for taking a position at this company. Never realizing that they might be next. Never realizing that they might not come into work the next day because of me. It may take me weeks, sometimes even a month, to get my target, but I always get my man. I am one of the best, if not the best, sniper in the world. The reasons for this, as I've already mentioned, are my love for precision in every aspect of my life and infinite attention to every detail. I always get my target. One shot, one kill. If you ran into me on the street, you might not think that I look like a sniper, or that I sound like a sniper, but let me assure you once again, I am one of the best in the world at what I do. And you can't always tell everything about a person just from the way they look. Take this poor soul. You probably think that's been me the whole time we've been talking. It's not. <laughs> and that's why I'm the best. <laughs>